we have a hoarding situation. We think possibly a hundred cats and one dog as we know of right now. And we're going in to save all of these. The few things that we've seen, and they're just coming out, and they're in crates so we can't get a full view of everything. They basically look really pretty good. There are a lot of kittens and things that are deceased and so, some dead bodies in there. What we're doing is we're assisting uh, Biscuit Legacy. She is an animal cruelty investigator and she told us about the situation and we were willing to step in and help. So our team from Humane Society of the Delta physically is here going in rescuing all these cats. And so we'll take them back home with us to Helena. And then we'll let them decompress and, and assess everybody to vet them and then keep them, love them, and find them good homes. This lady loves her cats. I think she did a good job the best to her ability. And things get out of hand with people. I mean, if you don't have the money to get them altered, neutered, or spayed, then when they do have a litter of kittens, that could be anywhere from six to 12 sometimes. And then within a short time, I mean, you have 36, and then you look around, it's that many more again. And we could use anything cat-related. We need towels, we need blankets, we need kitty litter, we need money for vaccines, and we need you to follow us because they need homes. Everybody needs to be involved, but a lot of people just like to say, oh, well, there's a rescue, let them do it. It takes a village to save.